Hi everyone, welcome back to this tutorial. We can discuss about various types of micro instructions. We have basically two types of micro instructions like horizontal and vertical micro instructions. We can discuss about the properties of these type in this video. So before starting the property of these horizontal and vertical micro instructions, we can consider some basic properties that we have already discussed in our previous video about our micro program based control unit. In a micro program based control unit, all the control signals associated with micro operations are stored in a special memory called control memory. In a control memory, a ROM type control memory in which we can store the micro instructions. Micro instruction means set of control signals that cause certain micro operation to occur, which is called a micro instructions. Okay, so such micro instructions are stored in control memory. Okay, so this structure for micro program based control unit. That means using micro instructions, we can control the activities of a system. Different micro instruction generate different control signals correspondingly for uh, controlling the activities of processor, memory, internal bus structures and storing and fetching data from registers and all other activities that are taking place inside a system. All these activities are controlled based on micro instructions. Micro instruction means set of control signals actually that can activate certain micro operations. These micro instructions are stored in a special ROM type memory called control memory. We can fetch different micro instructions or control memory word as per our requirement. Okay, so in a micro program based control unit, we can classify such micro program based control unit based on the type of instruction present in our control memory. We have two different type of micro instructions present in a control memory. They are the horizontal micro, the horizontal micro instruction and vertical micro instruction. If we are using horizontal micro instruction, then such control unit are called horizontal micro programmed control unit. And if we are using vertical micro instruction for controlling our system, then such system are called vertical micro programmed control unit. Okay, now we can consider the four properties of these horizontal and vertical micro instructions. Okay, now we can discuss about the horizontal micro instruction. So, the horizontal micro instruction contains the control signals that are represented in the decoded binary format. Decoded binary format means if we want to represent n control signals, right? If we want to represent n control signals, then we need n different bits. And each bit diff represent different control signals. That is one bit per control signal. Each bit represent one particular or one specific control signal. Okay, so this is a basic syntax of a micro instruction. Here we have certain field that indicates the control signals and remaining field indicate the next address field. This field actually used in order to indicate the branch target address. If we want to perform a branching operation, that means if we want to stop the sequential execution of micro instruction and if you want to uh, execute next a micro instruction which is present in a distant location of our control memory which is not present sequentially after the current instruction. Okay, that means we want to perform a branching operation. In that case, the branch target address is available here in this branch address field or this next address field of our current micro instruction. We have discussed about this in our previous video already. Okay, 
So in order to support the branching, the branch target address is available here in this next address field of our current micro instruction. So this is the structure of a horizontal micro instruction in which if we want to represent n different control signals so in this control signal field here we have n different bits and each bit indicate a specific control signal okay so in case of vertical micro instruction the control signals are represented in the encoded binary format Control signals are represented in encoded binary format. The N control signals require log N to the base 2 bit encoding. That means if we want to represent total N control signals, in this control field value, we need only N log N to the base 2 number of bits. We don't want total N bits here. We need only log N to the base 2 number of bits in this control signal field. So this is the case of vertical micro instruction. So consider one example. Suppose our system want to represent as a total of 16 control signals. Right. So in this case, in case of this horizontal micro instruction, if we want to represent total of 16 control signals, so here in this field of control signals, we have 16 different bits. Each of these bits represent different control signals specifically. But in case of vertical micro instruction, we need only log n to the base 2 number of bits because the control signals are represented in encoded format. So here we want to represent total 16 control signals. That means how many bits are required in the control signal field? log 16 to the base 2 that means log 2 to the power 4 to the base 2 that is 4 into log 2 to the base 2 this term is actually 1 so 4 bits so in this control signal field we need only 4 bits right but this next address field of this horizontal and vertical instruction they are fixed size and the size of this next address field, which is actually depending on the size of our control memory. Okay. So, this is not, we can't modify this next address field size. In case of horizontal micro instruction and in case of vertical micro instruction, we can't modify the size of this next address field. Okay. We can modify only or we can reduce the size of this control signal field in case of vertical micro instruction. That means here we follow this encoding format. We can encode or we can represent n different control signals using only log into the base 2 number of bits. Okay. Now we can discuss in detail about the structure of this horizontal micro instructions. So consider based on the previous example, here we have 16 different bits. These bits, each and every bit represent specifically a particular control signal. So uh, whatever signals we want to activate, we need to set a value 1 correspondingly to that bit position. Okay, so here this uh, bit position contains value 1 means while executing this particular micro instruction these control signals want to activate that is why here the value 1 and all other position is kept with value 0 means while executing this particular instruction we don't want to activate or we don't want to generate these control signals that is why the value 0 in this position okay so in this it is clear that here we want to activate only one control signal by executing this but here in these two case while executing this particular micro instruction horizontal micro instruction 
here it activate different more than one number of control signals because different bit position containing value one here and here also but here it contains only one bit position having value one okay and about this next address field the size of this next address field which depends on the size of our control memory this control memory is the ROM type memory in which we need to store this micro instruction different memory word different word of this control memory actually indicate different micro instruction okay suppose the size of this control memory is 8 that means here we can store 8 different memory words or different 8 micro instructions so uh, we can address each of these eight memory word like this. So here we use only three bit of information in order to address each of these eight memory words uniquely. So the next address field of uh, next address field corresponding to the memory word of this control memory contains only three bit information okay this address field contains three bit address information so this next address field size is three bit here okay this next address field value actually depends on the size of our control memory right so based on this discussion we can conclude that the size of our horizontal micro instruction is high they are longer instruction or lengthy instructions and degree of parallelism is higher in case of horizontal micro instruction that means we can activate any number of control signals at a time simply by keeping the value of the uh, bit position with value 1 we can activate any number of control signals at a time that is higher degree of parallelism we can activate n control signals parallelly by setting all n bit position with value 1. Okay. So, horizontal micro instructions showing higher degree of parallelism. Now, we can consider properties of vertical micro instruction. The same situation system with 16 different control signals. So, here we need 4 bit in our control signal field. And the size of this branch address field depends on the size of our control memory that is already discussed in the previous slide. Okay, here we use only 4 bits. Using these 4 bits, we can uh, represent 16 different control signals. How? Using this 4 bit, we can generate 16 different combinations. Each of these 16 different combination indicate 16 different control signals right so here we want to use a special hardware external hardware unit that is the decoder and this 4 bit information is given as an input to this decoder then based on the current value of this 4 bit decoder can choose one among these 16 control signal as its output okay 16 different possibilities are there and this decoder can choose one among these 16 different control signal based on the current value of this four bits okay so this is the case of vertical micro instruction okay so we can conclude here these are shorter instruction length is comparatively small here but here we need an additional external hardware that is the decoder in order to generate the corresponding control signal okay we can directly identify which control signal we want to activate only the output of this decoder can decide after decoding we can decide which control signal want to activate okay so it takes some more time to generate the control signal. 
and one more the degree of parallelism is 1 or 0 that means based on this orbit information we can activate one maximum one control signal at a time the degree of parallelism is one or zero here but this is not the case in our horizontal micro instruction degree of parallelism is n we can activate any number of control signal at a time but usually while executing a micro instruction this is the case we need to activate uh, majority of the time we need to activate only a single control signal that is enough for executing certain micro operation by our processor okay so in many of the cases this no degree of parallelism is negligible this is not a big deal actually in many of the cases okay So now we can compare the properties of this horizontal micro instruction and vertical micro instruction. They are lengthy instruction and this vertical micro instructions are short instruction. And degree of parallelism is high in case of horizontal micro instruction and vertical micro instruction low degree of parallelism. We can activate a maximum of one control signal at a time. And here we need no external hardware in order to generate the control signal. But here we need an external hardware, a decoder unit in order to identify which control signal actually want to activate. Okay. So these are the faster instruction because based on the current value of our different bits, we can directly identify what are the control signals want to activate now. But here, only after decoding we can identify which control signal actually want to activate so they take some more time to generate the control signal so they are slower instruction okay and here the size of this horizontal micro instructions are high so it takes more memory space so for storing horizontal micro instruction we need to use more sized control memory size of the we need more size for our control memory but in case of vertical micro instruction the size of the instruction is smaller so we can implement our control memory using a small amount of control memory space or small amount of raw memory space is required in order to implement a vertical micro programmed control unit Okay, so all these are the basic differences about this horizontal micro instruction and vertical micro instruction. Okay, thank you.